Hi! Lately, I needed to check if an eSIM of an automotive emergency response system was reacting in a predefined way when faced with a communication error with the backend servers while switching profiles. The eSIM basically needs to roll back to its previous profile in that case. Problem is, causing those errors in a test situation is pretty difficult. I mean, it used to be. The EUICC Profile Manager now runs a manipulation feature, which basically allows you to manipulate the communication with the eSIM and the backend servers and cause specific errors. Alright, first up, let's check if the profile enabling is working as intended without any manipulation. We're enabling Profile 2 over here and keep track of the Messages view. We see here that the enabling process was successful. So again, this is the process if we don't interfere with the communication. Now let's see how we can manipulate the communication with the backend server. Okay, the manipulator is based on JavaScript, so we'll need to head over to the script editor in the home section. I've already added a script that basically blocks the reception of the confirmation SMS on the back end. So we select the script here, close the script editor and start the manipulation. Now the border turns red, indicating that we are running the tests with the script active, which then interferes with the communication. Alright, let's head back and switch profiles again. The manipulator kicks in, prevents the backend from receiving any response from the eSIM and since the eSIM reacts according to its specification, it'll retry seven times and that takes time. And while we wait, have you considered registering for the free trial of the EYCC Profile Manager? You can get your hands on the software yourself and all you have to do is click on the link in the description below. The best part is it's free, and that's a great price. Anyway, the enabling process is now finished, and the error message shows up, stating that the eSIM performed a rollback to the previous profile. Great! Producing M2M network errors for eSIM testing isn't that difficult anymore. Just activate the respective script, start the manipulator, and see how the eSIM reacts. It's as easy as that. And if you want to stay up to date with our videos, consider subscribing to this channel. All you have to do is click here.